Hey everyone, welcome to my very first Hordes painting tutorial on this non-40k Thursday. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this Dire Troll Mauler. I began by removing all of the applicable pieces from the baggie that they came in. Then using a sharp hobby knife, I carefully removed all the extra molding from the pieces. There was a pretty large gap uh, in the top part of the piece, so I decided to use some green stuff to fill it in. I then primed the entire model blue using Army Painter Navy Blue Paint. I wanted to create a very blue looking troll, therefore I base coated the entire model with an airbrush using a 2 to 1 mix of Troll Blood Base to Signar Highlight. Uh, this produced a really nice blue color, which will later go over with even more lighter colors. However, I made sure to keep the original navy blue in the uh, areas that would actually be left in the shade in the model. I then built up gradients all over the areas by adding a little bit of frostbite to the previous mix and then highlighting the areas um, on his back, on his legs, and on his arms. And then what I would do is add a little bit more frostbite and then repeat the process focusing more inward so that the areas more inward on the body tended to have a lighter gradient and higher and higher areas also were lighter than the lower areas. Um, on the arms, I especially made sure that the palms were also the lightest areas with the gradients as well. And here's what the finished body and arms look like. I then painted his stomach and the palms of his hands using underbelly blue, which is a very light uh, blue, almost the color of white. I then did some shading on the Mahler with a one-to-one -one mix of Troll Blood Base to Red Ink, which produced a very watery purple, which I then put into all the recesses and then lined uh, the areas of his back, uh, his arms, and the top of him with it. And here's what the model looked like when the shading was done. Now you can see that there's a lot of purple in all the recesses in these areas, which I will later clean up with uh, more colors. I then turned my attention to his hair by base coating all of it black. And then I built up consecutive layers on the hair, first with Scorn Red, which is a bit darker of a red color. Then with Kadar Red Base, um, a bit brighter of a red color. Third, uh, with ember orange at the very tips just to bring up a really bright orange color to them. And then to tie them all together, I covered all the hair with a red ink. I then started all the stones on the body with a 1 1 mix of iron hull gray to black. I then highlighted all of these stone areas with just Iron Hulk Gray itself. Then to bring out the edge details of these rocks, I edge highlighted all the rocks with a one-to-one -one mix of Iron Hulk Gray to white. I 
I started on the belts and the loincloth with Blood Tracker Brown, which is a nice deep dark brown. Then to bring out the details in these areas, I gave them all a very dark brown inking. I made sure to get extra ink in the recesses and in the underside just to provide some nice shading all these areas. Next I painted all the silvers on the model uh, Cold Steel. If you don't have Cold Steel, I recommend Iron Breaker by Citadel. This includes the metal bands on his uh, arms and neck, as well as the chains around his neck, and the, uh, the belt buckle on his belt. To give a rusted appearance, I then did a red ink on all of the braces on his neck and arms. This is the first part of a two-step process which will produce an older, dirtier appearance which is slightly rusted on these metal parts. While that wash was drying, I gave an armor wash to all the other metal parts on the For the gold areas, I actually used GW's Gehenna's Gold um, because I ran out of Molten Bronze, which is the P3 equivalent of that color. So I would primarily recommend you use Molten Bronze, but if you don't have that, I'd recommend using Gehenna's Gold. I followed up the red ink on the braces with a brown ink, which will then give it the dirtier, older appearance that we're looking for. I then highlighted all the other silver areas with Quicksilver. If you don't have Quicksilver, I recommend Runefang Steel by Citadel. I then gave all of these areas a black-brown wash, which will get into all the recesses, make them look really nice, bring out all the details in the gold areas, as well as give them a slightly older, dirtier appearance, which is the same thing I tried to go for the silver areas. While the wash was drying, I began on the eyes by painting them white. I then painted the inside of the mouth completely black. Uh, just left a little bit of area for the tongue. The important part is getting behind all the teeth and in the inside of the mouth so that it produces a nice shading in the mouth area. I then paint his tongue using Kadar Red Base, which is a nice bright red color for his tongue. This will produce a lot of contrast between his teeth the darkness of his mouth and his tongue. When the washes were dried, I highlighted all these gold areas with Rulik Gold. If you don't have Rulik Gold, I recommend Gehenna's Gold by GW. I tend to focus more on the outer edges um, and left the recesses as well as the more shaded parts. Um, the original color plus the shading of uh, the black brown shade. I started all the lower teeth by painting them blood tracker brown, a nice dark brown which I will leave at the bottom of each tooth and work my way up to a white. I then gave the upper gums um, a nice blue ink just to bring out the detail uh, in the gums before working on the teeth. While the ink was drying, I painted the pupils black. 
Remember to keep a very steady hand when painting the pupils and just to do a little bit of time dot by dot until you get the nice circle that you want. I then painted all of his teeth with a one to two mix of bootstrap leather to white. Uh, this produced a slightly very very light brown um, which I made sure to keep the dark brown at the very bottom of each tooth and then just work my way upwards with each paint. And then paint his teeth white, uh, just focusing on the very edges, the top tips of each tooth. After looking at the face, I decided to bring up a little of the details of the eyebrows and around the mouth by painting them frostbite, which is a very, very light blue, or basically a white with a slight blue tinge to it. This will really bring out the nice details in the eyebrows and around the mouth as well as give the, uh, some variation in the tones of the face. And finally I started on all of his fingernails by painting them Blood Tracker Brown. Once again I'll be starting with a very dark brown, working my way towards a light brown, and then I'll be doing an ink to tie them all together. I then painted the nails a one-to-one -one mix of bootstrap leather to white. Um, once again, I left the dark browns in the very backs of the nails and just tried to focus on building a little bit of a gradient on the nails. And then I added a little more white to the mix, making it a bit of one-to-two mix of bootstrap leather to white on the nails, uh, once again, just focusing more on the outer edges. And then to tie these colors together, I gave them all a brown inking, which will give them a dirty, dirty appearance, as well as bring all the browns close together. And that's it. You now know how I painted up my Dire Troll Mauler model. It's kind of a tongue twister once you think about it. Overall, I have to say that I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I really love the variation of blues along the skin tones. I think uh, his eyes turned out well. All the colors turned out really well, and yeah, I really love the new plastic resin kits. They're awesome. I love the pose. Um, basically, I couldn't be happier with the way it turned out. For the base, I just went with a very simple base with a little bit of dirt and grass. Uh, if you check out any of my base tutorials to see how I did it. Um, and yeah, I'm just pretty happy with the way that it turned out. I hope you guys like it as well. So as always, thank you to all you awesome people out there for watching my videos. I cannot thank you enough. You are my audience, and I can't ever thank you enough. Please uh, like this video. Uh, leave any comments below on especially which tutorials you'd like me to do next. And feel free to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this non-40k Thursday tutorial. This is my first Hordes tutorial, and there will be many more to come. So till next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting everyone.